we end up making bricks without straw. It's funny, isn't it? Phrases in the Bible that everybody knows. Making bricks without straw is one of them. And we live in a culture that demands more and more of us, but provides less and less support. How many of you are in offices now that have less employees than when you started there? But the same amount of work is required. Making bricks without straw. I can remember, I'm old enough, this is hilarious, when computers were time-saving devices. <laughs> I'm not making this up. They were writing in scholarly journals and in business journals, the leading journals of the day, worried about what we were going to do with all of our spare time. That's the truth. What are we going to do with all this spare time? Now we're hearing the same kind of lie about artificial intelligence, AI. What are we going to do when the machines are running everything? <laughs> right. Right. So your boss gave you a computer. Now you can do the work of two people. But he's going to pay one. And when you go home, boss ain't going to let you alone. He's got you on an electronic leash. Bzz, bzz. And if that doesn't get you, the boss will strap it to your wrist. Bzz, bzz. You're working longer hours, getting less done. You come home in the evening, there's no time for family, there's barely time for you. Saturday, oh, that's time for the kids. Uh, we, go, we play soccer, baseball, uh, basketball, uh, lacrosse, we have dance, we have, uh, uh, that's all day Saturday. Sunday's the only day we have. That's our day of recreation. So we fill it up with football games and hockey games and on and on the list goes. Do you know another pronunciation for recreation is recreation? I've seen some of you on Monday, you don't look recreated. <laughs> because Pharaoh doesn't want you to worship. The cure for burnout isn't rest. The cure for burnout is worship. Worship is the moment when you realize it doesn't count on me. It doesn't depend on me. Sun came up this morning. Did it check with you? Nope. Going to go down this evening. Will not ask my permission. The world will attend to its orbit. The stars will stay in their place. And not one of that is dependent on me. Worship is the time where you remember that God is God and we're not. Isn't that good news? Every day you're told, boy, if you don't get this done, the whole world's going to fall apart. No, it won't. How many times have you heard just in the past week that, that if Christianity doesn't do, do something, the church is going to disappear from the world? Really? We've lived through Rome. We've lived through Ger uh, Germany. We've lived through Russia. We've lived through China. We'll live through this. I can just see the meeting now. Where God, looking at all the angels, said, you know, I thought we had a chance, but then Mike didn't believe him and blew everything. Come on. Worship is the moment when you realize it doesn't depend on you, and it's the moment when you realize that you are loved. You didn't do anything to deserve it. You didn't do anything to earn it. He loves you because he created you in his image, and he created you for a relationship with him. It's, when, it's where you are known. It's where you are known. 